Hey there, fabulous first graders. This is Mr. Orr. I am coming to you from the ghost world inside the computer. Nah, I'm just kidding. How you guys doing? So, uh, I want to teach you how to do your next assignment, your first real assignment here in the computer lab. So when you sign in as FP student, Password Wolverine, you're going to find the bookmark Learning Docs right there. Click on it, and it'll take you to our Google Drive folder that we all share. And here, I've got a folder for each classroom. So find your room number and double click, click, click two times to open it up. Now what you will need to do is you need to make your own document. For this assignment, you're going to click New. Google Docs, the blue one, so hit the blue new button and then the blue Google Doc button. Then the first thing you need to do whenever you get a piece of paper from your teacher or from me is you need to put your name on it. So right up here where it says Untitled Document, you're going to click in that box and you're going to put, put your name. Now this is a Google Doc. This is like a piece of paper on the computer. You can write on it and you can draw on it and all sorts of cool stuff. So how you control it is up here with this control bar, this toolbar. So I want to teach you how to use all this cool stuff. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to change your font size. This one right here is font size. See it says 11. Click on it and you can change your font size. In my directions, and my directions are right here in the learning docs folder, right here. I got the directions. So you might want to open those up so you have them, so you can see them. The first thing you need to do is change your name, or is write your name and change it in font size 18. So write your name in font size 18. Okay? Now, to go down to the next line, you're going to press the enter button on your keyboard. Okay? Press enter. And now, whenever you're done, you want to make sure you're in our normal, ordinary font size and style. And when we start, it's always an Arial, size 12, and it's always color black. Okay? So the next thing it says to do is write your best friend and change the font color to red. Font is your words. So I'm going to change my words to red. So I go over here to this color button and choose red. And now my best friend, his name is Dan. And I'm going to press Enter to go back to the next line. And then I'm going to change my color back to black. Next it says, write your sibling's name. A sibling is a brother or sister. If you ha don't have any brothers and sisters, just write the name of another friend. And this time highlight it in yellow. So I'm going to go to the text color button again, the one that I found the red on last time. And this time, instead of going to text, I'm going to go over here to highlight. And I'm going to choose yellow. Now I have two brothers. Their names are Jeff, oh, G-E-O-F-F. -F and Colin. Don't forget to capitalize names. Remember to capitalize your friend's name, capitalize your name, capitalize your siblings' names. I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to go to highlight and turn it off. I turn it off by going highlight none. Alright? Now it says write your favorite color. Change the font to Times New Roman and use the color. Use that. Use your favorite color. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to change the text color. I'm going to click on text and choose my favorite color is gray. Oh, I forgot to change it to Times New Roman. Look, here's my font styles. I'm going to click on Arial and look, there's Times New Roman font style right there. Gray. Now I'm going to press enter and I'm going to make sure that I go back to Arial. I go back to my black font, and now I can do the next one. It says, your favorite animal, and center it. This is the center button right here. Right now, notice it's slightly gray to mean I'm on the left-hand side. That's center, that's right. So I'm going to go to the center. My favorite animal is a duck-billed platypus. Plus, there we go. I press enter to go down to my next line, and I'm still in the middle, so I want to press this button to go back to the left hand side. Now it says, write your favorite food and indent it. To do an indent, you press the tab button on your keyboard. Tab, 
See how it perfectly scoots your, your cursor over? Okay, just hit the tab button one time and that's called an indent. So my favorite food is a carne asada. Super burrito. Mm, that's Mexican food. It's really good. I'm going to press enter. And now my next one, it says, your favorite teacher. Underline it. Ooh, who's my favorite teacher? Oh, there are so many to choose from. All of your teachers are great. I'm going to put capital Mrs. I'm going to put Mrs. Rebello because she's in this room, room 202. But all of your teachers are great. Turn off the underline when I'm done, and I'm going to press enter. Next one says, your favorite game. Make it in bold. Here's the bold button right up here, this one that says B. I'm going to press it, and then I'm going to put my favorite game. It's called Capture the Flag. Notice how it's darker than these ones? That's what the bold button does. I'm going to press Enter, and I'm going to turn off the bold. Then it says, your favorite TV show. Put it in italics. This one is italics right here. My favorite TV show is called We Bear Bears. I'm going to press Enter and turn off the italics. Now, my next one, it says, put your birthday and give it bullet points. This one right here is the bullet point button. It's got three dots and three lines. Sometimes you'll see a button here that says more, and if you press the more button, then you'll see the bullet point button. Sometimes the bullet points are hidden underneath the more button. So I'm going to press bullets, and I'm going to write my birthday. Don't forget to capitalize your month. My birthday is September 15th. Oh, yeah. To capitalize, you hold down the shift button. I think I forgot to remind you that. To capitalize, you hold down the shift button and then press that letter. Now, the last thing I need to do is put a numbered list. That's the numbered list, the one, two, three, and the three little lines. And write your age. Mr. Orr is 39. Now, I'm going to press enter one more time. And look, it makes a numbered list, so it automatically does the number two. I don't want that, so I'm going to press backspace. And now I'm all done. My last thing on my direction says, now double space everything. To double space everything, click and drag over everything you've written, and it's going to turn blue. Then go up here to the line spacing button and click it one time, and then choose double space. There we go. Now I'm all done. I've practiced using all of the tools that I need to change things on my piece of paper on the computer. I've written my name and my friend's name and my siblings and my favorite color, my favorite animal, my favorite food, my favorite teacher, my favorite game, my favorite TV show, my birthday, and my age. All right, that's it. That's your assignment. Have fun. You can watch this video as many times as you need. Just listen to it with headphones so you don't bug other people. All right, good luck.